Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Fridays. It's a new segment we're doing where every Friday we cover the top headlines in AI and technology. I'll try to keep it under 5 minutes, but no promises, and it's being the first one, so who knows. And of course, it's with me, your host, Matt Morocek. Now this week, there was a lot in the headlines, and if you see we didn't cover a story that you think is important, let us know below in the comments. On this week's episode, we're gonna cover Joe Biden meeting with some of the top AI executives, OpenAI and their latest fundraise, Apple's plan for launching a new AI-powered fitness coach, the first CEO of a publicly traded company admitting that AI is making their business obsolete, and so much more with a really fun one at the end, so make sure you stick around. President Joe Biden brought together CEOs from Apple, Microsoft, and other huge tech and AI companies to at least start the dialogue on how do we make sure that AI is rolled out in a safe and cautious way. Now, Elon Musk wrote a letter about a month ago that didn't seem to do anything, so we'll see what happens here. Next up, we have OpenAI, which if that doesn't sound familiar, ChatGPT probably does. That's their parent company. They raised $300 million this week with a valuation at $30 billion. Wow, they were one of the fastest companies to 100 million active users, and this funding definitely reflects that. Next up, if anybody has a Fitbit, an Apple Watch, a Whoop, a Garmin, you name it, Apple aims to lead the charge with an AI-powered fitness coach. With some of their other subscriptions, you already had access to workouts and things like that, but this is gonna take it to the next level with personalized AI-powered coaching. Along with asking Siri for the perfect diet plan or the perfect workout of the day, rumors are that you can get real-time feedback with your active workout, something we'll definitely pay attention to and I'm sure they'll announce soon. Next up is one of the companies we mentioned at the beginning, Chegg, who helps students with their homework 24-7. Now, earlier in the week, their earnings report came out and it does not look good. Their CEO mentioned that users are turning and going to AI alternatives and that dropped their stock price by 47%. Now, this is a big deal because it's the first time a CEO is openly admitting that AI has had a massive impact on their business, but not in a good way. Definitely something to monitor and it definitely shows us that if your business can't stay agile and adapt, it's certainly at risk. Next up, we have Bing, which for the past decade, you probably haven't used or even thought of, but it's worth taking note now because the search engine has had massive changes in the last month or so. This week, Microsoft announced that both Bing and Edge are getting massive updates. Their aim is to reinvent the way that we use search, make it more visual, and act as more of an aid or a co-pilot instead of just giving you a long list of search results. I think it's safe to say that both Bing, Google, and any other search engine are redefining the way that users interact with search and are going to be making big changes to their UI. Next one we'll keep short and sweet, Alexa. No, I'm not talking to you. And their parent Amazon have mentioned that their products are gonna become incredibly more capable. With how much Alexa can already control in our home, allowing a more robust AI to sit on top of their technology could change the way that we interact with our home and all of our smart devices. Next up is a very popular ed tech platform, the Khan Academy. Their founder recently gave a TED talk that is definitely worth watching and he basically speaks about how students and teachers might leverage AI in the future where both have their own personal tutor. The past few years have shown us that online learning has a long way to go, but now being able to personalize that experience for each student and the teacher, now that's something that could really change the way that we think about our education system. All right, I promised that I was gonna save a fun one for the end, but I got two good ones for you. Boston Dynamics, famous for their funny internet videos where they have robot dogs jumping on boxes, opening doors, and who knows what, has now integrated ChatGPT with their robots, making them more intelligent and able of two-way communication. Now this really opens the door for some really interesting applications. The scary stuff aside, how cool would it be just to have a robot that does the dishes, does the laundry, and other household chores? I think we're far away from that, but my bold prediction is in the next five years, we will see something like it. In fact, Elon Musk also mentioned that they're working on this at the moment. I'm curious, would you allow an AI robot in your house? All right, last up, one of my favorite videos from the week. Google has trained their robot to be able to play football or soccer, depending upon where you are in the world. And while the early videos are hilarious at seeing them get knocked over, it is incredible how quick they picked up the game and some of the strategies and techniques they deployed. Alrighty, that does it for this week. Again, if we missed any good headlines, please let us know in the comments below. And hey, we even kept it under the five minute mark. And that's a wrap for this week.